<laughs> All right, welcome to YouTube video series, video number one. This is how to light a Bunsen burner and the safety precautions that go with it. I hope it, I'm talking loud enough so you can hear me. Um, first thing, safety first. Obviously, I got the goggles and apron on. I'm experienced enough where I could probably do it without, but for the sake of me not catching myself on fire, that's probably important too. First thing, you want to check your hose, make sure there's no cracks in it. Um, especially because the fire will shoot out the end if you're not careful. Um, I, I got a pretty brand new hose here, so I'm going to hook it up and push it on here as far as possible so that I'm not going to have any, any gas escaping. Now the next thing is, the person before you should have closed up your butts inverter. Now we want to open it up at the bottom so that we can light it up. Now I'm not going to open it up oops, until after I've already connected it. So I'm going to hook it up. I'm hoping the butts inverter works well. Push it all the way on again, just like before. Put my goggles on now. First thing I gotta do is turn on my gas. I'm gonna open it up. And I can hear it. You can hear the gas coming out of it. So staying far away now, depending on what you have, you might have a spark lighter, you might have a normal lighter, you might have a torch lighter, whatever. Keep your hands far away enough, keep your face away from it, light it up. Now the key is an orange flame means it's not very hot. If I want a hotter flame, I'm gonna open up the gas more. And as more turns blue, there's an inner flame that you can probably not see from there, but the more blue the flame, the hotter it is. So depending on what type of flame you need for your lab, this is your best bet. So safety precautions to turn it off. I'll shut it off here first. Close it down. Shut the gas off. Once that's off, I can disconnect everything and put everything away safely. 